Hey, this is Steampunk Star Raisin of Amberstreet.com, and I'm going over my ballot here, and I want to go over who I voted for. I'm about to drop off my ballot after this, and this is going to be your progressive guide, or at least my moderate progressive take on who you should vote for. <clears throat> on the uh, national election side, uh, United States Senator, vote Democratic. Uh, United States Senator, again, vote Democratic. Uh, this is at a very underrated and important election. Uh, Los Angeles City General Municipal Election for Mayor. Uh, vote for Karen Ruth Bass, current member of Congress. Uh, do not vote for Rick Crusoe. Rick Crusoe is a dino. He only recently registered as a Democrat. He is a property developer. He is a vulture capitalist. He is the reason why we have such big homeless problems um, in L.A. Because he has, as a property developer, has built up condos and luxury apartments. And he's jacked up the price of rent and the cost of living artificially. So how can you expect somebody who is part of the problem to solve the problem? Don't vote on the guy that caused the problem. Don't vote for vulture capitalist dino Rick Caruso. Vote for Karen Ruth Bass. Uh, Los Angeles City General. Um, I voted for Gill. Uh, that's the you know the lesser of two evils, uh, the most progressive. Um, Los Angeles City General Municipal uh, Election Controller. Some of these are confusing. Uh, I voted for. I voted for Kenneth, and then um, Los Angeles Unified School District member of the board uh education district six i voted for marvin uh rodriguez there is a progressive checklist where he was rated the most progressive out of the two candidates uh los angeles community college district uh member of the board of trustees c2 uh i voted for glenn bailey uh again uh voted the most progressive on progressive checklist in la uh, Los Angeles uh, Community College District of the Board of Trustees C4. I voted for Christine LaMonica. Again, voted on a progressive checklist as the most progressive of the candidates running for that position. Los Angeles Community College District, member of the Board of Trustees C6. I voted for uh, Gabriel uh uh, I voted for Gabriel. Uh, uh, he had a podcast and uh, his podcast, he talked about how we need to unite on social media against Trump supporters. So, um, And the guy that's running against him, Robert Payne, uh, Gabriel uh, Buolona, Buolona. Um, I'm sorry if I'm bitch butchering his name, but Gabriel Bologna, um is a Democrat. Robert Payne is Republican, although it's a nonpartisan election here. But uh, when I looked up Robert Payne, he refused to even uh, submit a picture for the uh, election guide on Los Angeles uh, Times website. So it just he comes off as a tight ass and he's a Republican. So this kind of political environment, I'm definitely not going to vote for anybody who's a registered Republican. Uh, because 70% of the Republican Party supports Trump and they support the election denial lie. But uh, on local, city, local, Los Angeles Community College District, member of the Board of Trustees, seat seven, uh, I voted for Kesley. Uh, that's Kesley um, Eno. Um, that's, um, and I apologize if I'm butchering some of these names, um, that was on a progressive checklist in LA, handed out in LA that, uh, listed that person, that candidate as the most progressive. 
Uh, member of the State Assembly, 44th District. I voted for the Democrat, Laura Friedman. Uh, U.S. United States Representative, 29th District. I voted for uh, uh, Angelina Dunas. Uh, again, I apologize if I'm butchering these names, but Angel Angelina uh, Dunas or Angelina Maria Dunas. Uh, she is not the incumbent, so you know it's Democrat versus Democrat. So vote vote the incumbents out if you can as long as they're not uh, a Republican. Um, Los Angeles City General uh, Municipal Election Measure LH. Measure LH provides additional low-income housing. I support that, so vote yes on LH. And then you have uh, Measure SP, which is Los Angeles City General Municipal Election Measure SP. Parks and Recreational Facilities, Parcel Tax, uh, Proposition SP. I voted yes on that uh, because we do need to increase taxes and increase infrastructure. Uh, some progressive checklists say, said vote no on that, but I voted yes because I, I do think that we need to increase funding in L.A. Uh, then you have Measure ULA. Uh, Los Angeles City General Municipal Election funding for affordable housing and tenant assistance programs through a tax on real property transfers over $5 million. Hell yeah. Tax the rich. I voted yes on that. Uh, we also have uh, Measure L.A., Los Angeles Community College District Special Election. Uh, it basically, Los Angeles Community College District Safety Repair Job Training Measure uh, to, to repair, upgrade local community colleges, classrooms, water pipes, you know, basically it authorizes a bond and funding to upgrade and repair community colleges. I voted yes on that. I believe in infrastructure. Um, the sheriff was like the lesser of two evils. Uh, there was only two candidates. And I voted for the current Los Angeles County Sheriff, even though I don't like him, because Robert Luna, who's running against Alex uh, Villanueva, uh, Robert Luna, who was uh, police chief of Long Beach, uh, ran a texting app that deleted text messages on police officers' phones. And that's destroying evidence. And I, I don't want to vote somebody in who has previously run on corruption. Uh, and with the with the current Los Angeles County Sheriff, he's not that good either. He's he's also been involved in some controversial stances and corruption, but I believe that it's a lesser of two evils. Somebody that runs a texting app for police officers to destroy their text messages, uh, I'm against that. That's not full disclosure. Uh, and then we have this is really complicated ballots, so and that's why I'm going over it. This is six pages. I'm now on page three. Um, Judge of the Superior Court Office number 60. Uh, I chose Anna uh, Rentino, Rentino, or Rentino. Uh, that She was on a progressive checklist as being the most progressive. Judge of the Superior Court Office 67. I voted for Elizabeth uh, Ashley Haynes, she was on a progressive checklist, voted to be the most progressive of the candidates running, which is only two. Uh, judge of the Superior Court, office number 70, I, I voted for Han Holly Hancock. That sounds like a very suggestive name, but that's besides the point. Holly Hancock, she was voted as, uh, or she was listed as a the most progressive candidate 
on the ballot uh, with a progressive checklist. Uh, judge of the Superior Court, uh, office number 90, I voted for Melissa Leons. Uh, again, out of the two candidates running, she was the most progressive on the progressive checklist that was handed out in LA uh, that I read on the internet. Uh, judge of the Superior Court, office number 118, uh, I voted for Carolyn Park. Uh, she was voted as the most progressive on the uh, L.A. progressive checklist. And uh, judge of the Superior Court Office number 151, I voted for Patrick Hare. He was voted as the most progressive uh, candidate on a progressive checklist. Uh, on County Measure A, it's yes or no. I voted yes. Uh, providing authority to remove an elected sheriff for cause. I totally support that because there's been a lot of corruption. So it doesn't matter if a sheriff has been elected. If they're involved in illegal activity or corruption, they should be removed. Um, county Measure C, uh, Los Angeles County Cannabis Tax Measure. Uh, it will basically tax uh, cannabis business annual rates not to exceed $10 per square foot and a percentage of gross receipts for various cannabis businesses, including retail, 6%, uh, laboratory, 2%, and distribution, 3%. Uh, manufacturing and all other cannabis business, 4%, to approx uh, generating approximately $10,360,000 to $15,000,000. 170,000 annually until until ended by voters. And I voted yes on that because we need more money in the system and we need more taxes on rich businesses and cannabis producers are definitely rich businesses. And uh, for state governor, um, again, this is the lesser two heels. I voted for Gavin Newsom because he's running against the Republican and uh, in this, if you're a true progressive or even a moderate, you should not vote for a Republican in this political climate. Uh, and then Lieutenant Governor, I voted for the Democrat. Um, Secretary of State, um, I voted for Shirley Weber, the Democrat who's running against the Republican. Woo, now we're on page four. And then uh, state controller, I voted for the Democrat. Uh, state treasurer, I voted for the Democrat because it's Democrat versus Republican. Uh, state attorney general, I voted for the Democrat. Uh, insurance commissioner, I voted for the Democrat. Uh, member state board of equalization, District 3, I voted for the Democrat. Superintendent of public instruction, um, I voted for Lance Ray Christensen because Tony Thur uh, Thurmond is the incumbent. So I say vote out the incumbents as long as you're not, they're not running against a Republican. Um, and then uh, state measure one, I voted yes, constitutional right to reproductive freedom. We need to provide constitutional amendment to the state of California uh, state constitution to ensure that protection no matter what. And then uh, state measure 26, I voted no to allow in-person roulette, dice games, sports wagering on tribal lands, initiative, uh, constitutional amendment, and statute. They often use tribal lands, a lot of these big uh, casino corporations. Uh, they manipulate uh, poor uh, indigenous tribes uh, just to make a profit at, you know, impoverished people's expense. And so I don't think anything good could come of Measure 26, so I voted no. Uh, measure 27, allow online and mobile sports wagering outside of tribal lands, um, initiative constitutional amendment and statute. That's pretty severe because that's a constitutional amendment, and I voted no. We don't need a constitutional amendment for gambling. Uh, measure 28. Uh, I voted yes, provides additional funding for arts and music education and public schools. This is something close to my heart. 
because I am an artist and I, I believe in increased funding to education and anything that increased the arts and music, I'm all for. Uh, measure 29, I voted yes, uh, requires state on-site licensed medical professional at kidney dialysis clinics. I've seen a lot of misinformation with this one. There's a lot of YouTube ads. Um, it all requires is that a physician, nurse practitioner, or physician assistant on-site during treatment. So apparently they've had problems at some dialysis clinics where they don't even have qualified medical professionals on-site. And these greedy medical corporations don't want to hire the proper qualified professionals in case there's a problem because they don't want to spend extra money because it cuts into their executive pockets. So screw that. Vote yes on measure 29. Vote yes, despite the misinformation. Measure 30, I voted yes. Provides funding for programs to reduce air pollution and prevent wildfires by increasing tax on personal income over $2 million. So... Rich people, you can afford it, and you need to you need to be responsible because your policies are providing are providing climate change and creating a crisis. So, yes, anybody, this is not going to affect middle class people. It's not going to even affect some lower tier, uh, lower uh, wealthy people that are you know if you're worth less than two million, you make less than two million a year, then it's not going to even affect you. This is only going to affect like large corporations. Uh, state measure 31. Uh, I voted no. A law that would prohibit the sale of certain flavored tobacco products. I just think that's silly and needless bureaucracy. If you're going to make tobacco illegal, make it illegal. But then that's counterproductive to making marijuana legal. And I just think any any measure like that, just to, it's just it's just silly and ridiculous. Uh, state ju judicial, I voted no. I hate judges that run for judicial office. As you can see here, there is only one candidate, and it's only yes or no. How anti-democratic that is. So I'm going to use my, my uh, right to vote to vote no on all these judges that don't have a candidate running against them. So yes, yeah, uh, for uh, Chief Justice of California, no. Uh, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, no. Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, no. Uh, former or for Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, no. Presiding uh, uh, Justice Court of Appeals, Second District Division One, no. Residing Justice Court of Appeal, uh, Second District D Division Five, no. Providing uh, uh, Justice Court of Appeal, Second District Division Eight, no. Uh, for Associate Justice Court of Appeal, Second District Division Two, no. If you really believe in democracy, we need to send a message. Vote no on all judges that don't have a competitor because that's not very democratic there's only one candidate yes or no and then on page six um uh, state judicial uh court of appeal second district division three no uh associate justice court of appeal second district division four no Former uh, or for Associate Justice Court of Appeals, Second District Division Four, no. Uh, Associate Justice Court of Appeals, Second District Division Five, no. Uh, Associate Justice uh, Court of Appeals, Second District Division Six, no. For Associate Justice Court of Appeals, Second District Division Seven, no. For Associate Justice Court of Appeals, Second District Division Eight, no. For Associate Justice Court of Appeals, Second District Division Eight, no. Anyway, that has been your guide to Los Angeles County voting for November 2022. You have a nice day. They'll see you 25 billion years will.